The 3GS Editor. Now you know the basics of a 3GS web app. It's time to learn more. A really useful tool for learning is the 3GS Editor. Open the 3GS website. Remember that's 3GS.org. Probably time to bookmark this important resource. In the group of links at the top left is the editor link. This opens an online tool that lets you play around with nearly the entire 3GS library without writing a single line of code. The best way to learn is to play along as I describe the steps. So hopefully you now have two tabs open in your favourite browser and you can pause me, switch to the editor and do each step. OK, here goes. Step 1. We're going to create a simple scene with the earth rotating and add a moon as a child of the earth. That means as the earth rotates the moon moves with it. But before we do that, let's just take a look at the interface. The main area is the 3D view. This will show you the camera view. At the top is a standard toolbar with various options. At the side is a tab control which shows the various inspectors for scene, project and settings. We'll mainly be using the scene tab. But for now click the project tab and enter Earth and Moon as the project name. Leave the other details at the default. Step 2. Now click Add in the top toolbar. Notice the different object types you can add. We'll be looking in detail at these in a later video. For now choose Sphere. This will add a sphere. You'll see that it's black. Find the sphere in the Scene Objects list. Using the Object tab click the name Sphere and change it to Earth. Notice that the object is positioned at zero in the X, Y and Z axes and has rotation zero in the X, Y and Z axes. Can you remember which direction is which? If the camera is not rotated then X is left and right, Y is up and down and Z is forward and back. Now switch to the Material tab. Scroll down to the bottom and click the wireframe checkbox. The sphere switches from solid black to a wireframe render. Now you can clearly see the number of triangles being used to create this shape. Unclick the checkbox to go back to a solid black render. Step 3. You might think that solid black is a bit boring. But if you've been looking carefully you'll see from the material tab that the colour is set to white. So why is it showing as black? The answer is you're using a type of material that uses lighting. But you have no lights in your scene. Before we add a light, try changing the material type to Mesh Basic Material. Instantly the sphere is shown as white. But it doesn't look very 3D. That's because Mesh Basic Material doesn't use lighting. Switch it back to Mesh Standard Material. Now go up to the toolbar and choose Add Directional Light. That's much more 3D. In the Object tab you can see the position of the light. Given that the only thing that is important about a directional light is the direction, why have a position? That's because 3GS uses two things to decide the direction for a directional light, its position and its target. By default the target will be location 000, but you could assign an object to be the target. Step 4. Click on the sphere and choose the material tab. We're now going to assign a texture to the sphere. Click on the rectangle to the right of the map checkbox. You'll see a file selector. Navigate to your resources folder Complete Lecture 6. In there select the Earth JPEG file. At first you'll see no change to the 3D view. But if you click the checkbox for the map you'll see the grey sphere become a reasonable representation of the Earth. But it's noticeably not round. In the 3D world it's described as Faceted. Step 5. Let's fix the faceting. With the Earth selected go to the Geometry tab, change Width Segments to 30 and Height Segments to 20. Is that better? If you switch to the Material tab and click the Wireframe checkbox you can see the geometry now includes many more triangles. It still has straight edges but there are so many of them it appears to be round. Step 6. Now click the Script New button. Give it the name Earth and click the Edit button. Between the curly braces enter 
this dot rotation dot y plus equals 0 0.1 because we have the earth selected the keyword this refers to the earth object all 3GS objects have a rotation property here we're adding 0 0.1 to the y component of this property this will cause the earth to spin around its y axis press the play option in the top toolbar that's very fast change the 0.1 to 0.01 changing the 0.1 to 0.01 makes for a more suitable rotation step 7 add another sphere select it in the object list and using the object tab change its name to moon then using the red arrow drag the moon to the right switch to the geometry tab and set the width segments to 30 and the height segments to 20 now switch to the material tab and set the map to moon jpeg from the resources folder we used earlier finally the moon should be smaller than the earth under the geometry tab change the radius to 0.3 step 8 if you drag the moon over the earth in the scene objects list the moon becomes a child of the earth and will inherit its motion try dragging the earth now notice that the moon moves with it when we press play the moon appears to orbit the earth as the earth spins on its y-axis this is the effect of the child parent relationship step 9 finally change the background color to black by clicking the color bar to the right of the word background step 10 now we're going to publish our work click the file publish button the 3gs editor bundles the project into a zip file find the file in the downloads folder and unzip it to your development folder because the folder contains an index.html file it will launch this file directly and there you have your earth and moon scene animated in all its glory this is a great way to get started with 3gs and you can get a scene ready for the web with an absolute minimum of code the 3gs editor really helps when you're learning the library you can see what happens when you adjust the properties of objects in your scene in the next video we're going to look at creating various different geometries in code see you in a minute